Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I'm going to continue my affordable series today with this little number by Noriko. This is Kate. It's in the most gorgeous red color, Irish Spice R. The full look and details coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds from Wig Studio One for this presentation today. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you expand the description box below, you'll find a link to this style and many others, including a promo code. So if you have any questions about this style or any other, be sure to reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. They're always ready to help. And if you're on Facebook, be sure to stop by the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper support group. Thousands of ladies are joining together to help each other find and style their wigs and toppers. Kate is a short, multiple layered style with a face hugging fringe. Will always be in style. I chose Kate to feature in my affordable series based on the price point, the quality, the color offerings, and overall wearability of the style. This gets high marks from me, so we'll discuss that in this video. So this starts with a medium auburn, and then it's punctuated with a light honey blonde. It almost looks like a light copper next to all of that auburn. It's multi-tonal, multi-layered color, and then all of that is on a dark brown root. So you can see a beautiful, subtle transition from the root into the main body of the color but then at the nape, it transitions fully into that dark brown. Layers and layers of color. It looks like a very expensive salon application of color. So this style was popularized, I think in the early 2000s. Um, Kate Goslin, they had the eight kids and Kate plus eight, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that is. I have never ever seen an episode of it, but I know that when she got this hairstyle that it was plastered all over the media. And it was the hairstyle to have. It was short, it was modern, it was an updated shag style cut. So let's talk about this Kate. I always think a six inch fringe is just the right length to swoop in and frame the face, yet be very practical. So wherever you part it, it will gently divide and frame the face. So because of the fringe and the lift and volume, I think this would be an amazing style for a rounder, a fuller face shape. In fact, I think all face shapes would be flattered by this style. I particularly love the, the crown at about 4.75 inches. That gives me that beautiful uh, bump in the back, and then that tapers down into a three and a half inch nape. Now that three and a half inch nape is beautiful for coverage. I'll show you why. Because it hugs the nape very nicely, even when you move, and then it kind of gently, naturally scoops in around the ear. The coverage is spectacular. I think what really modernizes this style and gives it all of its flattering effects are the heavy razoring that has gone on to all of these layers. So not only do you have multiple layers all over, the front, the crown, the nape, the sides, they're all razored to perfection. It gives it a beautiful fluttery kind of appeal. Ladies, if you like to spike it up, this is a good one to do that because you've got enough permatease to, to hold it up and then you can just pull out all of that texture. I think it looks beautiful with collars, turtlenecks, summer shirts. It's good for every season. The price point is really nice on Kate as well. And Noriko is one of those manufacturers that does allow for the 30% discount still as of the date of this filming. At Wig Studio One, if you use the code BEAUTIFULYOU, at checkout, you can get 30% off of this style, which makes it just over $100. This is a style that you absolutely want permatease. So you have to be a lover of what permatease can do for your style if you're going to enjoy this Kate. You've got lots of permatease all throughout the top and at the crown. It's strategically done though, because it's very moderate here at the temple 
basically none right here at the back and none at the nape because as it gets a little further down in the style you want that tapered low profile look at the bottom all of that volume being at the top so i think kate is extremely wearable for every single day and there's so many colors so you can just have multiple uh, colors you can shift on and lots of different reds brunettes and blondes um, so I think that because this cap is a basic cap, there's no lace, there's no monofilament, it's a true shake it out, put it on. It takes five or 10 seconds just to kind of get in there and divide the hair into your part, flip up, you know, fluff it up a little bit in certain areas and you're literally plug and chug out the door. So I really think this style gets high marks from me because of the affordability, because of the quality materials uh, used and the wearability of the style. This is the classic Noriko fiber, which is of a medium denier, uh, but because it has been heavily razored, it does have a wispy kind of texture to it. This is a nice average density. And you have to be careful on Noriko styles. If you uh, think you're going to thin a Noriko style to bring down the volume, you would be mistaken because all of this volume is being brought on by the permatease, not the fact that there's a lot of hair here. There's just the right amount of hair. So you wouldn't want to get this style and expect to thin it out so you can bring down the volume. It's meant to be, it was born to be a big voluminous style. So because there's a large amount of permatease on the top, um, I still don't think you can see down into the permatease. First of all, I have a rooted color. A little bit of a darker root helps to obscure the permatease. But mostly it's because that permatease helps spring up these wispy fibers on the top. And they're short enough that they really do kind of stay lifted and obscure the permatease underneath. Kate features that traditional cap by Noriko, so you'll see a rose net or rose lace all over the crown. It's very wide and it goes back just beyond the crown, and that gives a lot of housing for the permatease. There's a bit of a hidden weft there at the front, delivering the best uh, hairline possible, and there's a bit of a velvet strip there as well for comfort. There's a closed ear tab covered by a mesh material, nice sturdy long stays, and lots of fiber spliced in there for great coverage. There's an extended kind of mesh nape and bra strap type adjusters. I did not have to cinch in the adjusters to get a good fit for a petite average circumference. I feel like this is best served up to 22 inches. So Kate is right out of the box. I simply gave it a shake, applied it, found a little bit of a natural parting space, did a little bit of a fluffing with my fingers. But other than that, there's been no product used on this hair. Um, and the glasses actually fit very nicely between the ear and the ear tab. There's very little density there. Um, and it seems to be very comfortable. So I think what I'll do now is just manipulate the hair so you can see how it moves and reacts and uh, give you a little bit of inspiration for styling. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.